Hi guys, Mark from We Travel Alone. Today you'll find me sitting in the lobby of the Radisson Hotel in Melbourne filming this video. Just want to talk about different ways to make money online. Are you sick of leading that 9 to 5 boring life where you get up every day, go to work, Monday to Friday? Well we were, so we set out to create a better lifestyle for ourselves, a life that we love and a life that we want to enjoy. In this video I'm going to talk to you about a few ways that we make money online with our website. I just want to tell you though, I'm not going to promise results overnight or anything like that. Blogging is a lot of hard work and takes a lot of time, effort and dedication. I often say to people that blogging is not a sprint but it's more of a marathon. But you learn every day, you try different things and hopefully you go from there in succeeding. So let's start and I'll tell you a few ways that we make money online. One of the easiest ways, guys, to make money online is through advertising. Uh, you know, when you look at a website and you get them really annoying pop-ups that come up in between sentences and when you really don't want to see them and you have to scroll past them, but sometimes you actually click on them. Well, on our websites, we use advertising supplied by Mediavine. Uh, Mediavine is a company. They're one of the leaders in the field of advertising. So what they do is they are an all-encompassing company. So they place the ads for us. They put them in the places where they think people will click on them. They supply them to people to click on them. So you know how like you've been looking at something on the internet and then all of a sudden you get ads pop up for things that you've talked about or liked. Well, that's what Mediavine do. They supply the ads to you via our websites. And what happens is when you see these ads or when you click on these ads, we then make some money off them. Um, it's a really easy concept. You just sit back and wait for a check at the end of every month from Mediavine. There's different companies that do it. Uh, Mediavine is a bit of an exclusive company. You have to uh, you have to meet requirements such as having 50,000 sessions on your blog page every month. So 50,000 sessions is equivalent to 50,000 people clicking onto your website and having a read of an article. Uh, there's other ways you can also do it. Um, you can use companies like Google Ads. Google Ads don't require any amount of views in order to install them on your site. You just have to be approved by Google. The thing with Google Ads is, is that they don't actually look any good or they don't look as good as the ads that you'll see that's fed up by companies such as Mediavine or even Monumetric, which is another company. So your returns from these companies are nowhere near as good as what you'll get back from Mediavine. Every month, it's really just a sit and wait game with ads like that. Um, like I said, every month they send us a check. Some months it's more, some months it's less. It's depending on how much advertisers want to spend. But it's a really good passive way to make money on your site because once you set it up, it's sitting there. You don't have to do anything more to it. You're just relying on people to click. So... Advertising through companies like Mediavine plays a big part in the income that we make every month, which obviously then allows us to travel and plan more for our digital nomad lifestyle. So that's a really good way to go. One of the easiest ways to make money through blogging is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing can be done by bloggers at any stage of their blogging career. Obviously the results you get will depend on the amount of people that look at your website. So what affiliate marketing is basically is you share a product you love with the people who read your content and then you place a link in that content. If the people click in that link and buy something from you, then you get paid a commission, which is really good and really easy to do. We put recommendations in our blog posts for places we've been, places we've stayed, things that can help you travel. And if you like them products and you click through to a site such as Amazon, Viator, Get Your Guide, Booking.com, and you go ahead and book or buy that product, then we make a percentage of the commission off what you buy. You can sign up to individual companies' own affiliate programs, such as Viator, Booking.com. So they run their own programs in-house, but you can only put links to their products only. Or otherwise, you can join a platform like Travel Payouts or Commission Junction. These type of companies will have 10, 20, 30, 40 different businesses running under their one platform. So you can then sell products from all of them businesses and that all the money you make from that will get lumped in one bundle and you'll get paid at the end of it. We find that we get the best results from affiliate marketing when we put what's called an in-context link. So we might say something like, while we were in Melbourne, we stayed at this fantastic hotel called the Radisson on the Park. So then what we would do then is we would put the link under the words, 
Radisson or under the words best hotel. And then if people click on them, that's like us recommending it to them. They then book a night, then we make some money. So if you want to do affiliate marketing, that's one of the better ways to go about it. Okay guys, the third way to make money online is through sponsored posts or sponsored links. So what happens there is a company or an SEO agency who works for a company will generally reach out to you and ask you if you're happy to host a sponsored post on your website. Uh, so what this means is they'll supply you with a post and they'll have a link in it that links back to their business or their client. Uh, so this gets a bit controversial in some ways because Google says that you're not meant to link back to places or companies because it helps inflate their rankings in Google search. So this is why these companies reach out and pay you for it. Uh, it's a little bit of a controversial way to make money and do things because a lot of bloggers disagree with it. Um, there's always a real hoo-ha and kick up on websites when people are asking about sponsored posts and links. So look, it is what it is. If you do it, you do it. If you don't, you don't. But it's a good way to make money online. So the three ways that we talked about are the ways that we make the most money on our website. Uh, there's certainly other ways that you can make money online. You can sell courses, digital products, you can have an Etsy shop, you can do drop shipping. There's endless ideas on the internet to find to make money online. Uh, we concentrate mainly on the blogging side of it and the three ways that I've told you. Uh, these will definitely allow us to become digital nomads in the next 12 months, 24 months, depending on our circumstances, but it's something that we're definitely gonna do. So if it's something you wanna do, maybe look into starting that journey yourself, making yourself a better life, better life overseas, a better life anywhere you wanna go, uh, besides the nine to five, Monday to Friday, working. So we look forward to you tuning into some more of our videos on We Travel Alone. For now, we'll talk to you next time.